Hiya, how's things? Yeah, the lovely Norden, the beautiful Norden, the most amazing Norden. Um, a lot of people have been having a little bit of a complaint about the, the small screen on it. Uh, the new Norden, the Norden uh, Expedition, has got a taller touring screen on it, uh, which kind of suggests that uh, Husqvarna or KTM or whoever designs these things um, agreed with these people. And um, I... I haven't really had a massive amount of problems with with this screen, but then I haven't spent a lot of time on motorways and dual carriageways and doing 70 miles an hour. Most of my stuff's been on, on the roads and, and on little trails and such like. But the odd occasion that I do go on a, a 70 mile an hour or a dual carriageway or a motorway, then yeah, there's a fair bit of buffeting. So what I've done is I've ordered a, a I, well, I've not ordered, I've received a, a new touring screen um, from my local dealer in uh, in Tewkesbury, AMS motorcycles where I got the Norden from and uh, and I fitted it and I've ridden it and the guy I bought it off the, the guy in, in the showroom he said you'll see a big difference he was right I did see a big difference it's really really good much more comfortable now and um, so I put together a few photos I was taking photographs as I was putting it together I often do this just for my own peace of mind really in case I need to backtrack a little bit, <laughs> it's dead simple, but I was still taking photographs anyway. Um, so I'll put them together in this little video, and this is how I went about changing the screen. Uh, the original screen uh, T30 Torx, four T30 Torx bolts were holding it in, whipped them out, got the old screen off. Uh, I then had to take the little rubber grommets out of the old screen to put in the new screen. They came out really easily because uh, they're still new they haven't gone brittle like old old rubber sometimes does um it's a bit of a bit of a tight fit but i, I popped them in my mouth um give them a bit of old saliva and a bit of heat and i softened it all up and they popped in really nice uh the four grommets um before i uh i fitted the new screen i cleaned the back of it where where it's a bit difficult to get to and i also cleaned around the headlamp in the front of the the, the fascia on the um on the bike and when I was doing that, I noticed that a, um, a plastic bit hadn't been put together um, properly. The little seam wasn't straight. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm like. So I took it apart and I got the seam right and tightened it up again. And then I put the um, the new screen on. Uh, screwed up the four bolts back in. Um, cleaned it all up again. Get my finger marks off it. Um, there is a little scratch in it. And I checked my photographs when I unpacked it and the scratches there i didn't notice it when i unpacked it but it's on the screen there it's on the bike there now and there is a little scratch on it i ain't bothered it's gonna get scratched anyway so it's fine it's not a problem um and uh like i say i've been able for a ride on it uh, what a what a difference what a difference it's made it's brilliant so yeah um 113 quid from the uh the dealers um 20 minutes half an hour's work um really easy i recommend it it's good it's good cheers guys catch you soon bye bye now bye bye